Okay, everyone, today I'm really excited to share with you all the new updates for Kraken Pro because I've been using this exchange for a long time now personally. And honestly, it's not just because they're one of our channel partners, but they really have one of the best experiences and interfaces for traders. So if you watch this video today, you're gonna get a great feel for why I say that. So I'm on my homepage right now. This is pretty self-explanatory. And then if we go to the trading interface, we're gonna spend a lot of time here in today's video, but I wanna move on first and get back to this because there's a lot to show you with some new updates specifically in this trading interface. But first, this market screener is a relatively new feature and I really like it because you can see the different sectors per se and their performance. So for example, if I wanna go into like DeFi, you can see all the various DeFi coins and how they're performing relative to each other. So you can do some cool things here, right? You can come up with various theses, like you can say, okay, I think this sector is gonna do well in the short to midterm, but for some reason, the market is undervaluing a certain coin compared to its peers, right? So I wanna buy some of that because I think it's going to catch up to the group. So you can have these theses and then you can click straight into it, like here's Ondo, and then you can just buy some, right? But this is pretty self-explanatory. You can look at different sectors, which I really like, and do your research and do some analysis with this. I don't wanna to go too far, too deep into this particular feature in this video, but if you are interested, let me know down below and I can make future videos about how to use this market screener to find opportunities. Now, the next one you may have seen before because let me just change this to BTC first. I have shown this in prior videos that, that I've done for a Kraken before, but it shows you various things, not only the price, but also things like the aggressor differential, trade count, rolling volatility, trading volumes, order book imbalance and slippage. These are all really pro themes that you can use to kind of tell when you want to enter trades and for which particular coins. But if you aren't sure what these things are, you can hover over and look at these tool tips. There's also another place to kind of learn more about this, but I'm gonna show you where you can learn more about how to use these and what they even are later in this video. But for now, you can just know that there's a lot of advanced stats and analytics that other exchanges really don't give to you, really don't offer you. But this is so clutch for traders to wanna to take it seriously and not just buy based on what some influencer on X is saying, right? So I'm gonna show you how to learn more about this in a bit, but there's also the portfolio and then a history of trades, right? That's pretty self-explanatory. But let's go back to the trading interface. And let me collapse this left side so I have more room. Okay, so first and foremost, this is a super customizable trading interface and you can add widgets based on what you want to see here. So the old way is through this add widgets button that you see my mouse moving over and you can just like drag and drop like market trades over here, for example. But a new way is just to click these plus buttons right here and then like market trades right here but I want to, you can move it to its own section or drag it somewhere else, like here, right? So it's super customizable as we all know. But now I wanna show you a bunch of cool new chart updates that the team recently released. So here's a chart of course, but check this out, multi-chart view, right? You can select like this, for example. Now there's three charts here. Let me just change this to ETH and change this to soul. So now you can see all these different charts all at the same time. Okay, but now we have this multi-chart view, what can we do here? Well, for each one, we can add different indicators, right? Like Bollinger Bands, and then boom, we have Bollinger Bands. And then for this chart, let's say I wanna change the candle style from candlestick to lines. Here we go. Maybe I want this to be an area chart instead right? So that's pretty awesome. But something else that I've shown you in a prior video is that you can do comparison mode, like right here, compare and add signals. And then doge even. So now 
we can see the relative performance of ETH USD, Doge USD, and Sol USD for different time periods, right? And as you change the time periods, this changes in real time. So that is super useful and is a great way to do kind of analysis of relative trends, relative strengths, and things like that. Now, one thing you can do is, let me just remove some of these things. So one thing you can do is change the candlestick periods. So you can do like one hour, 15 minutes, one minute even, and then daily. But you can also change the time period that your charts show down below over here. So you can show like three months, one month, one year even. You can go wild, right? But what about if you don't want all of these to stay synced? Well, you can change that right here, multi-chart view. You can toggle off different things to sync and layout. So interval, I'm gonna to toggle it off. And now for Sol USD, I can change it to hourly, for example, whereas the other ones stay as they were before. But okay, let's just go back to one view. And one thing I wanna show you that I mentioned earlier is this chart insights model, this little question mark. This is so clutch for all traders, especially if you're more beginner or intermediate, because this teaches you basically how to become a better trader. For indicators, there's a lot of indicators, like I added Bollinger Bands earlier, but look at how many different options you have. And then right here, you can learn more about various ones like RSI, how can we use it? In what situation? What should you look out for, right? You should read all this and really study it and kind of ingrain it in your memory so that you can use it when you trade on Kraken Pro. Now, another thing is patterns too. Like this is really awesome, like various patterns to look out for and how to potentially identify them and use them. Like set a target buy price, for example. This is so useful. Like you really gotta be studying all of these and then lastly, what I told you earlier, this analytics page, if you had no idea what like aggressor ratio is, well, here it teaches you how to read it, how to use it. And there's other ones as well, the depth chart, right? So instead of just being like, oh, there's all these fancy features, but I don't know how to use them, so I'm just gonna ignore them. No, you should study them from these in-product education, which by the way, most other exchanges don't really have this, right? So take advantage of this with Kraken Pro. Like they want their traders to succeed and not just fail because if traders succeed, that's better long-term for the exchange, right? Now, another thing I wanna show you is this order form because there's some new updates over here, okay? Like for example, we can see our balances available down here and there's this new take profit stop loss feature. I'm just gonna keep it simple and show you the simple mode, but I wanna actually show you this in action, okay? So first and foremost, I'm gonna change this to a limit order. I have this preview on, so you could see this. Let's say if it drops down to 85,000, then I want to buy a thousand USD worth, okay? And then if that limit order hits, where do we wanna set our take profit orders? Take profit, let's do like, 5% above and stop loss, let's do minus 5%. So look, it tells you your estimated PL as well in both directions. So this is pretty awesome. And you can also drag and drop it directly on the interface if you wanna change it. Like I just changed this myself. So what we're doing here is setting up an OTO, OCO order. It's one triggers the other, one cancels the other. And I'll show you this in action, but conceptually, basically, we have a limit order, right? Like if this limit order gets hit, then these start to go active, these take profit, stop loss. Initially, they're conditional on this hitting, but then they go active, and then once one of these hit, either the take profit or stop loss hits, then the other one gets canceled. So the take profit, stop loss is triggered by the limit order hitting, and then either one of those gets canceled depending on the other one getting hit, right? That's just conceptually, but let me show you this in action. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this, limit buy and confirm. So now I have a, in my open orders, I have a limit buy and conditional orders, which are not active yet, right here, okay? So let me just show you this hitting. Confirm edits, limit buy, 
So now these are active because I manually move my limit buy price up above the current market price, right? So this is just like showing you, but I'm just going to kind of cancel these right now because that was just for demonstrative purposes. But basically the point is you can use this take profit stop loss feature, which is new to manage your risk when you enter every trade, right? Like you can automatically set where you want to take profit and stop loss in advance. So it automatically executes for you. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of new features, a lot of great things for traders. I think this is really helpful. I really think if you're a serious trader, you should just dive in deep to Kraken Pro and look through the in-product education models that teach you all the different features, all the different indicators, chart patterns, etc., and also use these different order form types like right here all these order form types you can learn more and it shows you all the different types like obviously you know market order and limit order but like iceberg order trailing stop order there's a lot of things so really take the time to look through all these and you'll just become a much better trader by the end of it and if you haven't signed up for kraken pro yet then just use my links below